EKU women's basketball back in Richmond after their Illinois road swing. And the Colonels would welcome in the Racers of Murray State. Eastern has won five of their last six against their in-state rival, and the home team would jump out to a five-point lead. The Racers would use a 13-7 run to close out the first quarter, putting EKU down one. It would be a back-and-forth second quarter, and Michaela Hunter would do her part to keep Eastern in it. Here she drives right by Bethea for the lay-in. Abby Wright gives it up to the junior who drains it. Hunter finishes with 14. Eastern down 33-32 at the half. The Colonels would start to thaw out in the second half. Polly Murray off the inbound goes up EKU strong. Jalen O'Bannon usually picking up boards. Here she's dropping dimes to Murray who contributes 15. Eastern would be up 4 after 3. Wright would come off the bench to score 10. And these three come in buckets. Racers looking to make it a one possession game, but O'Bannon comes up with the rebound. The junior would grab a game high 12, and the Arkansas State transfer waits for Cooper at the strike to pour in two of her 25 as the Colonels go on to win 72 60. We caught up with Abby Wright after the game. I feel like we all came out of the gate. Um, we were wanting to bounce back from SIU because we fought hard in that game and it just slipped away from us. But um, I'm pretty proud of how my teammates came out today because we fought hard. We out-rebounded them by 17 rebounds and we just kept banging on the boards and we weren't going to let this win slip away. To keep the ball rolling, we just have to keep doing what we're doing. We're going to take um, elements from each game. Like today, we need to take our rebounding into the next game. Other games, we need to take our scoring. We need to keep playing as a team. Uh, but overall, we just need to keep playing hard like we have been these last few games. The ladies lace them up again on Saturday when Tennessee Tech comes to town. I'm David Miller for EKU Sports.